हेलो एवरीवन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्लेसेंटल साइड ट्रोफोब्लास्टिक लीजेंस सो द लीजेंस आर प्लेसेंटल साइड ट्रोफोब्लास्टिक ट्यूमर एपिथेलियोइड ट्रोफोब्लास्टिक ट्यूमर एक्सजरेटेड प्लेसेंटल साइट रिएक्शन एंड प्लेसेंटल साइट नोड्यूल बिफोर टेकिंग द individual lesions let's have a quick look on the type of trophoblast trophoblasts are of three types cytotrophoblast intermediate and syncytiotrophoblasts intermediate are of further of three types villus intermediate trophoblast implantation site intermediate trophoblast and chorionic type so cytotrophoblasts they have single nucleus which is which has a round shape the cytoplasm is scant in cytotrophoblast and it is clear to granular with prominent cell borders in villus type of intermediate trophoblast the nucleus is also single but it is polyhedral in shape with abundant eosinophilic to clear cytoplasm the implantation site intermediate trophoblast it has single nucleus or multiple nuclei the shape is polyhedral to spindle shaped with abundant amphophilic cytoplasm with occasional vacuoles the chorionic type trophoblast it also has single nucleus the shape of the nucleus is round to polyhedral and the cytoplasm is abundant with eosinophilic to clear the syncytio trophoblast they have multiple nuclei and they have irregular shape the cytoplasm is abundant dense with multiple vacuoles cytokeratin is positive in all the trophoblastic cells hcg is positive in syncytio trophoblasts and also focal positive in intermediate implantation site trophoblasts hpl is positive in implantation site intermediate trophoblasts also in chorionic type and in syncytio trophoblasts melcam is positive in intermediate implantation site trophoblast and in chorionic type it is absent in cytotrophoblast and syncytio trophoblast p63 is positive in cytotrophoblast and intermediate chorionic type trophoblast now coming to first lesion placental site trophoblastic tumor it is a rare tumor in which the neoplastic transformation of implantation site intermediate trophoblast takes place so the trophoblast involved are implantation site intermediate trophoblast it usually occurs in reproductive age group and the patient most common are paras women it can also be seen in uh, female with history of h mole after term pregnancy with history of spontaneous abortion on microscopic examination the implantation site intermediate trophoblast will be seen with having large polygonal or spindle shaped nuclei these cells may be singly present or may be in large nests and that to infiltrating the smooth muscle multinucleated cells can also be seen with vacuolated cytoplasm no cytotrophoblast or villi will be present 
there is extensive fibrinoid material deposition and invasion of muscle wall of blood vessels is seen. PSTT could be benign or malignant if the mitotic activity is 2 to 5 per 10 hyper field and KI67 is low that is 14 percent then the PSTT is benign. Only 10 to 15 percent of PSTTs are malignant and they are too metastasized to lung, liver, abdominal cavity or brain and malignant PSTT have abundant necrosis, mitotic count of more than 5 per 10 hyper field and KA67 more than 50%. Immunohistochemistry that are helpful is Melcam, HPL both are diffusely positive there is focal positivity of HCG. Cytokeratin will be positive and HCG levels will be less than 1000 international unit per ml while in sensitive trophoblast it is more than this. Uh, more than 1000 it is more than 1000 to up to lakhs it is seen in choriocarcinoma. Epithelioid trophoblastic tumor. It is rare in reproductive age group. It is usually diagnosed after uh, known pregnancy, post menopausal woman, and after abortion and in cases of H mole. In epithelioid trophoblastic tumor, there is neoplastic proliferation of chorionic type of intermediate trophoblastic cell. Grossly, the tumor is discrete and present as expensile nodule in endomyometrium or lower uterine segment. Cut surface of tumor is solid, may be cystic, brown to tan with areas of hemorrhage and necrosis. Microscopic, on microscopic examination, we can see sheets of atypical mononucleate trophoblastic cells, thin rim of lymphocytic infiltrate at the periphery. The cells may be seen in the form of cords or nests and that too are surrounded by eosinophilic fibrillary hyaline like material. So hyaline like material will be seen and dense eosinophilic material like keratin in the center of the nests. Nests are formed by the mononuclear trophoblastic cells. In the center we see keratin like material and at the periphery hyaline like material and lymphocytic infiltrate. Necrosis will be present. The trophoblastic cells they do not invade the vessel wall like in PSTT. Mitotic count 0 to 9 per 10 hyperfield. Immunohistochemistry helpful are CK18, P63 and inhibin alpha. They are positive. Focal positivity of HPL. HCG and Melcom will be seen. KI67 is 20%. Now the third lesion is exaggerated placental site reaction. It is a benign condition or benign lesion. There is increased number of implantation site intermediate of blastic cell. They may infiltrate endometrium and myometrium may occur in association with pregnancy and abortion. On microscopy examination, predominantly mononuclear intermediate trophoblastic cells, implantation site intermediate trophoblastic cells with variable multinucleated 
trophoblastic cell. The endometrial glands are normal and the myometrium show no necrosis. So, no necrosis will be seen and the glands are very well preserved. The features of gestations are normally present like hypersecretory glands, chorionic villi and hyalinized spiral arteries. In addition to this, the proliferation of mononuclear implantation site trophoblastic cells will be seen. KI67 is 0%. Coming to placental site nodule. Placental site nodule is a totally a benign condition. We will see well circumscribed hyalinized lesion composed of chorionic type of intermediate trophoblastic cells. It is seen in endometrial or endocervical curettage after curettage or in fallopian tubes after ligation. It is the retained non-involuted placental site. Crossly, the lesion, the nodule is very small. Maybe it is seen microscopically. If it is large, it is up to 1 cm in size and yellow to tan in appearance. On microscopic examination, there is a well circumscribed lobulated border lesion showing thin layer of inflammatory and deciduous cells encompassing it. Cells are embedded in abundant eosinophilic extracellular matrix. So, a well circumscribed lesion with deciduous cells and inflammatory cells and extracellular matrix. IHC helpful are cytokeratin, EMA, PLAP positivity is seen, P63 positive and focal HPL positivity. Thank you.